Hey there. Okay, so I took a walk down to the park today just to read some, lay in the grass, uh, chill out for a while, and um, I think I thought it was Saturday. It's Friday. Anyway, the point, that's not the point. This little kid runs out to me and says, I'm looking for beetles. And I'm like, that's awesome. So like a half an hour later, I'm laying in the park and um, just soaking up the sun. And it just hit me, man. I want to make a video about just that passion and um, enthusiasm of youth. And I think that's always um, something I've carried with me when I'm doing art, when I'm drawing. And I don't ever really set aside, well, maybe I do now since it's a job, but I've always found the joy in art when um, the paper's just there and I have the time, like I'm in church as a little kid and there's the, the bulletin they give you. You just draw on that. Uh, as I got older, business meetings, draw on that. And um, there is that, that uh, I don't want to make a whole video about like when money starts getting involved, but I did start drawing just for fun because I loved Garfield, the comic strip, so I draw Garfield and I, I loved uh, drawing Snap, Crackle, Pop, Rice Krispie uh, characters on the boxes. And when people started offering me a quarter or 50 cents to replicate those uh, in sixth grade, it changes things. But that's a whole nother video. For this video, I'm just going to focus on the joy and the, uh, the enthusiasm. And a lot of that unfolds and happens when you don't have any expectations. And so I have not thought about at all what I'm going to do next after I start blabbing. But um, I'm thinking I'm not going to keep doing what I always do. So I do know that I have some canvases, a lot of canvases, up in the, in the um, annex, which is uh, the overflow, which is where I sleep, too. It's my bedroom. So let's go grab, uh, maybe we won't grab a cam canvas. I don't know. But let's go up there and, and see what we can um, paint on today. <laughs> Okay, so I literally don't know what direction I'm gonna go. I normally usually use a roller to roll uh, paint on canvas because it's even, it's an even application and I can just throw the roller away. I don't have to rinse off any brushes or anything. But um, I just had some red laying around and I just wanted to do something different. That's a lie. The truth is it's nighttime and uh, the reality is this is nighttime and my rollers are inside uh, the patio area. I just didn't want to go get them. It's dark. I'm just going to roll this on, see how fast or paint this on. This dress pretty quick, so we'll give this a shot and I'll see where we go from here. Oh, and this is just some red I had laying around. I have just tons of paint just laying around. Don't go, don't go buy a new... Just to have fun, don't go spend a bunch of money. Don't spend any money. I guarantee you can have fun with uh, just the shirt on your back and um, stuff laying around the house. So go for it. Keep it simple, my friends. Keep it simple. And part of me is like, gosh, I could just do half the canvas or full can. I don't know. I'm just going to go all canvas. Probably not going to do the sides. Now, even in this, you gotta have fun. Like, feel those brush strokes. Feel, don't just film this in. This is not just, this is no more or less important than every step of the way. You're creating a masterpiece here, my friends. Like, at this point, I feel like I could just call it a day. I kick some butt. I'm proud of myself. Whew. Okay, let's let this dry. Okay, so I'm not really set up totally to paint on canvas against this board. I usually tape paper here, but um, yeah, here we go. It's dry, we're gonna give it a shot. Uh, I, I, I kind of sometimes do know what I'm gonna do, like to some extent, like I like to do my round headed person here. We're gonna start here, but I mostly just put on some tunes and uh, go for it, see where it goes from here. That's where a lot of the, um, 
That's where a lot of, I can honestly say that's where a lot of the uh, words come from. If I'm gonna, if I'm gonna add words, usually comes from uh, music I'm listening to. Also, I will say that I am using a 20 millimeter grog squeezer, a 15 or a 10 millimeter Kenton Hoppus squeezer. And I say Kenton Hoppus because I've got my own pen I'm putting together, working on putting together. Now see, I'm gonna zip off here. I'm gonna come all the way around as if it were naturally coming there. I would never just guess. I just kind of have to shoo, shoo. Once again, I'm just gonna work like I always work. Work like I was if I were a kid. Just, oh man, this red is black. This red and black looks so cool together. I do try to work with the big lines first and then start filling in. I don't tend to be, sometimes people say I'm Mr. Doodle. I don't tend to fill up the canvas as much as he does. But for this one, I, I very well might uh, fill it up a little bit more. And I'm, I got a five millimeter grog. So 20 millimeter grog, 10 millimeter Kenton's mono marker, and a five millimeter grog. I think I, I said all those. I have a habit of taking the, putting the caps on all the time. So once again, I like the cleanness, the simplicity, but I feel like for this longer form video, let's, let's push my boundaries and get out of my comfort zone a little bit. Um, and here goes, here goes nothing. I have this peach color that I mixed up for, um, I have a peach color that I mixed up for somebody a paid commission. So why not see how it looks against this this color. Now, so now these colors I mix myself because I felt like I had more control over the opacity um, than just store-bought graffiti pens. It's hard to work with those pens because they're kind of toxic too. So this acrylic paint's a little easier. Oh, that's looking cool. I think, well, let's go back to the whole theme is playing with these, playing with this, uh, playing with the piece all the time. It's having fun is that, um, what I love about it so much is I uh, would do these little tiny pieces like sketches for commissions I would get. And I would say, man, that's like freaking magic. So much energy in this sketch, in this little piece of, like here's a sketch for a customer. And uh, so much energy and power, but you can't hand a client a piece of paper um, like that and say, there you go. Pay up, buddy. No, they kind of want like what's applicable to them. Ooh, that's a big word for me, applicable, four syllables. You're not gonna hear that that much. So I do, um, I do gotta hit the canvas, but the, I found that just staying with that spirit of don't get tied to sketches, uh, don't get tied. I try not to, oh, let me turn the camera, woo! So try not to get tied to a sketch. I have tons of sketches. Let me show you some of these. So, I got tons of sketches. Oh, this is a sweet one. Here's a sketch of a, a person with a little bird inside their heart. Now, it would make sense that you try to hold really true to that sketch, but you're, gonna, you're never gonna translate that mini magic to the mega magic. Mini magic, mega magic. No, they're, they're, gonna, they're gonna be separate. It's like, I've never been a pro basketball player, but as an athlete, you know, it's just kind of like when your um, practice and game time are different. Things unfold different. Don't try to make practice the game. Don't try to make game practice. Just live in the moment. Have a blast. Okay, now I want to do something here on this one. Um, I want one other secondary color here, and I think it's a little bit of a risk, but I'm going to take that risk. Let me look down in my box of uh, colors. Ooh, you know what might be kind of cool? 
Once again, we're just playing. We're just playing around. There's no, there's no skin in the game on this one, man. But there is. Let's see how the red against the red. Let's put some red dots from the other red. Now, see, I'm not crazy about that, but I'm not gonna poo-poo it either. It's, it is what it is. I feel like if anything, we need to bring in a lighter color. So in the spirit of play, I'm going to see if, uh, and I might push this too far. I may push this far. I almost feel like it's done as it is. So, uh, but I'm gonna go over here off camera and see if I have white. I don't think I have any white pens mixed up. No, I don't. I don't tend to use white. It's not very opaque. Yeah, no, we're gonna, we're just gonna, now see, here's the beauties. You can just sit with it. You can work on it tomorrow. I'm not going to, for the sake of this video, we're gonna, we're gonna try to finish this up in one shot. But I'm gonna sit with it and see, um, you know, I'm gonna try something a little outside of maybe my comfort zone. And you may hate it. I may hate it, everyone may, we may all hate it, but, or love it. I know it wasn't that radical. It wasn't as, it was, you're, <laughs> everyone's completely disappointed. But I truly feel what makes this magical to me is the fact that I'm not gonna, I refuse to add anything more to it and I'm gonna prove it to me and you, and we're gonna sign our name, which is a whole nother video that we could make about signing your name. Uh, and maybe in some of the next videos, I'm gonna push myself even more. If you followed the channel and some of the stuff I've done, you'll know that this is radical for me. I mostly just do um, a few lines on a big piece of white paper. So I'm loving this, it's staying true to, um, Stand true to, to what feels right to me and stopping there. So thanks along for joining. Thanks along for joining in. Thanks, thanks for joining in along. Okay, uh, I'm gonna stop talking now. Thanks. Go out there. Get anything. Remember what I said early in the video. I'll have to cut back to the sound bite. Don't spend any money having fun. Use what you got. You're gonna be, it's gonna take all the pressure off of you and you're gonna have a blast. I had a blast. I, I had this canvas laying around from an overbuy for a project that never came through. And um, this is paint from murals that I did years ago. Yeah, now we got a fabulous, fabuloso piece of art. Okay, so something wasn't just sitting right with me. So I went back around all the edges and I had these little uh, lines in all three different sizes. Uh, Get the 20 millimeter, the 10, and the five. Went all the way around, and it looks really, really cool. I mean, what, what's that? Hello, MoMA. Yeah, it's the little things. It's always the little things.